Hi everyone, this is Astro High Pink Black Vivi coming at you with another video about COVID-19 in New York City. I'm here in my home at Brooklyn, um, a borough of New York City. Um, I actually just went out to the city, actually in Manhattan, um, where the virus infected mostly. Um, I walked around a little bit and see um, the people came out on the street because it's actually lift up the lockdown in New York right now. So people actually get outside for a little bit. Um, and today I want to talk about a little bit about astrology and psychology as my YouTube channel focusing on. So my YouTube channel actually focusing on astrology, spirituality and psychology. Um, and I also adding some um, of the lifestyle videos on it um, to actually introduce to you how the New Yorker lives right now. Um, so as you guys know, um, COVID-19 actually affected people all over the world and today May 3rd of 2020 um, is the beginning of the summer the weather is so nice the weather is like around um, 70 degrees um, around like um, 20 degrees Celsius and 70 degrees Fahrenheit in um, the US um, and I actually take my time to go outside all the way to the city so I actually have to travel by train so when I went on the train station it's less people it's actually no people there and it's make me feel uncomfortable for a little bit but because I make a video so I think it's okay to do it um so actually talking about spirituality and astrology I will break it down first in astrology astrology actually have 12 zodiac size as you guys know um like from aries until pisces so 12 zodiac size but actually it's break down under four elements so four groups so earth fire water and air and i just want to let you guys know um the whole of my birth chart is under fire because i have a lot of um Leo and Aries and Sagittarius in my birth chart even though um, my sun sign is in Pisces but I actually embodies a lot of fire in me so as you guys know 12 zodiac signs separate in four groups each the group have three zodiac signs under it um, including earth water air and fire so fire Size have Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Earth side have Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Water side have Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. And air side have um, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Um, so each of the elements have differentiation, have different uh, personal traits and personal characteristic of them. So that's why astrologer pull out the birth chart. So you know, birth chart only have sun, moon, and rising sign, which is I will explain in the next videos. Not this video though, but the on the this video I just plainly talking about the the fire size how the fire side function fire side including um leo sagittarius and aries which is three sides um the fire is very aggressive in approach we don't like to stay put we don't like to just stay in one place we love to run around we love to initiate stuff and we love creativity which is going outside and we're very outgoing um we talk a lot um we have a lot of aggressiveness to us that's why today i actually take my time to go to the city because i have too much of the fire side me so i cannot really stay put at home for a long time um, actually, the lockdown lifted up just a little bit from May 1st, which is two days ago. And I actually went out on exactly May 1st because I cannot stay home. Um, that's why um, the astrological side is very, very um, precise when you want to read about one person or people. So, um, 
I, I can tell that um, when I approach one person and talk to them, interact with them, um, at first, I can tell that the, what size they are, uh, blankly from the rising side, because the rising size is the persona you put on to first time to approach other people. And my rising size is Sagittarius. That's why I, 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 I am very... Um, outgoing person and I love to explore stuff because Sagittarius is um, the ruler of the ninth house and we love to explore we love to expand and we love to explore everything we love to teaching people and guiding even preaching people and I know that is some bad traits too every zodiac sign have bad and good traits to them but then um, as you guys know, we have to balance everything, good traits and bad traits together. Um, I just talked about Sagittarius, um, how they functioning with the pandemic and the lift of the lockdown. So, Sagitt usually they cannot stay in put in one place. Sagitt only move around, and Sagitt um have one bad traits is, uh, we are very uh commitment phobia, especially with relationships. So, uh. If if you're dealing with the Sagittarius, even a male or female, um, sun, moon, or rising size, you have to know that to give them space. And when they come to relationship, they want a lot of space, and also um, they need their time to progress um, and um, to give you the precise of commitment because they commitment phobia. Um, they love to be out and about. Uh, of course, every fire size like Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries have the same trait. Uh, we love our freedom because we cannot contend. It's fire, so we just burn out of um, creativity and emotions and feelings, stuff like that. Um, we aggressive. So um, with the pandemic um, and the lift up of the lockdown, mostly the people in the park nowadays, I can tell, mostly they are fireside. Either you are sun, moon, or rising in Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. I can tell people who are out on the street and don't care, like stuff like people, oh, why you be on the street, but this is pandemic time. Uh, why? Because we fire. We we just love to burn out everything and to be in places, you know, to explore. There's stuff we have to see and have to check. And um, I just want to move on to Aries. Um, Aries is the first side of the zodiac. So Aries is a ruler of the first house. The first house represents who we are. So usually the good size of Aries is... Aries are very outgoing, of course, fire size, but Aries are more outgoing. And Aries, sometimes Aries are uh, very um, selfish, a little bit selfish, and very selfish is up to the chart. So you have to read the chart of air. that person. If that individual have too much Aries flowing in that chart, in astrological chart, so probably the person have the problem with um, defining who they are. Are. They very um, self-observed, so to speak. Um, Aries very aggressive size. Um, they love to make a drama and then they leave. So usually, if you're dating an Aries, they they love um, excitement and adventurous. So if you're dating an Aries, either Aries female or Aries male, the first day they usually love to go to hike. Or they can invite you to go for um, to the swimming pool, stuff like that. It's very fun and adventurous, and uh, they don't like to be content, of course. And um, maybe they don't usually. Um, if you go on first day, second days, or first phase of the dating, um, Aries people love to. Uh, be in the adventurous and active scenery. For example, we go hiking or we go swimming or um, something active, you know. 
Uh, with the pandemic and the lo lockdown lift up, um, I can see a lot of Aries go outside there in the park because I can tell, um, just my guessing, a lot of people have an Aries rising size. Um, so usually Aries rising or um, they call the um, ascendant. So the ascendant, the rising is um, aka the the persona you put in or the appearance wise so aries have the very youthful younger than their age and also they have athletics so they very strong athletic even the female aries rising side they have an athletics so when i was in the park um i can tell they have a lot of aries sagittarius out there because a lot of athletic people like even though they just like sitting on the bench in the street or inside the park i still can tell the aries um the last zodiac size of the fire size is leo that i'm talking how they function with the pandemic um leo is um the ruler of the fifth house the fifth house in astrology is the hell of fun cheering creativity um writings ancient texts um and ro romance so um leo is kind of like they love themselves so much um and also they love attention so if you're dating a leo remember that you have to give your full attention to them in order to get the attention because leo the lion the lions as the king queen of the jungle we love to have a lot of spotlights to us we love to have attention of other people either good or bad so um i'm telling you talking about sagittarius and leo i know a lot because my moon side is in leo and i know how leo function with this um a lot of stuff in the life um if you're dating a leo male or female remember to give them attention your full attention because if they see you don't give them much of the attention they will get bored really quick and this will be the bad trace of all the three zodiac i mean sorry on the three of the fire side so leo sagittarius and aries um we get bored really fast believe me we quick to be in the dating scenes and quick to get out because what leo uh leo have a good trade because we very um childlike we a kid at heart and we give our attention to people we love or don't even love or we just plainly know about them but we give a lot of attention and um we protect others because leo is the lion and look at the lion they protect everybody in the jungle i mean every other little small animals right so look at uh mr president uh I mean the ex-president of us of the US Mr. Obama he got the rising sign in Leo so look at him he's very protective of other people and um he he has a warm heart because lion has a big heart so um Leo is fast too and burned out of creativity because Leo is the the sign um the ruler of the size of the fifth house and the fifth house is acting cinemas and like i said creativity romance and um cheering so we love cheering i love cheering a lot uh, when i was pretty much younger like three four years old i already love newborn baby little babies until now i still have a lot of loves for cheering um I mean, everybody look at little children still like them in some um, extent level. But with Leo, even you have Leo sun, moon, or rising, you love children a lot. And you want to be like children. You want to be like childlike. That's why if the pandemic come, Leo don't care. All Leo comes out to the street. Shh straight out to the park and we play as a kid because we don't care about it we care but we don't care uh-huh and um if you want to know if the leo um that person has a leo in that chart 
look at their hair because they all have the beautiful hair so either the person have the moon side especially the ascendant or rising size is a leo they hair really big hair and also i don't say that a hundred percent all leo have the big hair but usually 70 to 80 percent leo have the big and wavy hair and when you look at them the first impression about them is their hair they have beautiful hair um talking about the pandemic um the good trait of them is they um they very fast and quick so um they don't care about if they come outside and um you know like just others uh, size zodiac size so talking about good trait of leo um like i said um they're very childlike um so leo usually don't care about um getting outside and enjoy the um the the environment atmosphere and play like a childlike and also um the good trait about them is they don't mind to have other people so usually a lot of leos in this pandemic um either your, your sun side moon side or rising size is leo um you will throw yourself in the line of work of helping others people um usually if you don't work um leos don't work in the medical field or essential workers they will still spend um a day or two days going outside and actually um doing volunteer work um and helping others people um on because um if everybody's scared and staying inside who gonna help the community so everything has a good and bad traits to it like i said you have to balance the whole energy um their bad traits of leo's is like they very um self-absorbed so it's a little bit like um aries but different every self-absorbed because they don't care of anything of or anyone once they in um their bad moods um they just think about themselves and even that thing is good or not good based on morality and psychology they still don't care they just only care about themselves because they the ruler of the first hell so um, they will say something or do something aggressively with Aries and Sagittarius um, to make you feel less than them if they come out of the batteries. But with Leo, um, if they in their bad moods, they in the batteries, they just don't give you any attention and um, they don't want to protect you anymore and they cause a lot of drama. So um, they will make a lot of drama scenes to you and throw a lot of tantrums and stuff like that in order to get your attention. But once you get attention to them, they move out of that situation because they don't care no more. Um, Leo actually very um, likely have the batteries because Leo, like I said, um, is a childlike. So um, either Leo care or don't care. So they, if they don't care, it's their batteries of them. They don't have much of um, a batteries, um, to be honest, uh, because like I said, um, Leo is the son, the childlike. So they forget things really quick. They forget that what people did to them are not good or not good. So um, they move on quick. Um, so as you guys can see, um, this is 14th Street, um, Union Square in New York, um, which is very crowded um, before. But now you can see even the lockdown uh, lift up for like um, three days ago now But people are still like not really going outside So I will let you guys um, take you guys there in the park and stuff like that um, So okay. this is the end of the videos that I'm making about the series of um, four elements Earth, air, waters and fire 
um, and top zodiac signs how they function with the pandemic and with dating in the pandemic and in generally so thank you so much for your watching until the end of the videos i know the video is so long but i cannot um make it shorter because i have to explain it in detail so you guys can know it um and also please 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 click like subscribe and follow my channel and share a uh, videos uh, if you like um feel like this video have something that you guys can relate with and also um i'm not a teacher or anything but i'm just a guider i coach people throughout years so that's how i know this is my experiences with my clients so please check out my website because i just I finished with my website so the link of my website I put right here down below the LinkedIn bio in my YouTube and also I have a link to my Instagram so if you guys have anything please feel free to contact me through my Instagram or my website or either you can even comments here I'm welcoming Emmy comments any comments of you guys because i'm started build up my youtube channel and um i'm very thankful for any like any subscribe any share of you guys thank you so much for it stay safe namaste bye